This is Dave Graybill, FishingMagician.com, and once again, I'm at the fishing counter at Hooked on Toys with my brother Rick. What we wanted to show you today is how to tie a bobber stop knot. Uh, you'll notice in the frame right now, they come pre-tied, but oftentimes they're gonna slip, and so it's good to know how to tie one directly on your line. And there's a lot of applications for this knot. For uh, Instead of pegging a corky with a, a, a toothpick, you can use this knot. You can space your hooks from the lure. Just a lot of different applications. A terrific knot uh, that everyone should learn to know. All right, Rick, let's see how you tie a bobber stop knot. Okay, great, Dave. So I'm gonna use 20 pound test fly line backing. And the reason I do that is it's, it's a very high quality, dense weave um, where the pre-tied knots are tied on really cheap material and they have a tendency to fail. So great idea to learn in how to tie this knot. Um, this also comes in bright orange or bright green, chartreuse, whatever you need uh, to make it visible. So I'm gonna, my first tip is to give yourself plenty of line to work with when you're learning how to tie this knot. So all you need to do is lay the line along the line you're tying it to. You're gonna make a loop and you want the loop to be below the line you're tying it to. And then I'm simply just gonna go around the line and through the loop five times. There's two, three, four, five. Now I'm gonna grab both ends of that 20 pound test fly line backing and I'm gonna pull. And as you can see, if it starts to stack up weird at all, just spread it out but it'll just come right nice in line and tie your classic bobber stopper knot. So you can tug it tight and move it a little bit and get it set at just the perfect amount of tension that you need on there. Once you get the right tension, you're simply gonna trim the ends of the knot. I'm not making that as simple as I'd like to. And as you can see, that's a lot easier than having to thread on a pre-tied tied knot. The other thing is, you'll have much fewer failures of your knot if you use that 20 pound test fly line backing. The other thing I'll mention is, if you're using the pre-tied knots and you happen to have a knot fail, you have to take everything off your line, your jig, your bobber, your weights, and to put the new knot on. With this, if they have a knot failure, you just tie a new one on and you're back fishing. Exactly, and there are times, you know, we started off using these primarily for steelhead fishing to adjust our bobber depth. And, you know, if you move them around a lot, you know, depending on weather conditions, sometimes they fail, even the ones we tie ourselves. Yes. And so it's so easy to just very simply tie a new one on. And as you say, Rick, it saves you a ton of time if you ever have a knot that becomes too loose or too tight to make an adjustment. Well, this is great, you know, and it's so simple. Uh, people are gonna love having that in their toolbox when they're tying leaders for any application for a lot of different purposes. Thanks very much. Thanks, Dave. See you soon.